a BJ student in IIT. He's in our vacation. I don't know why he said. Uh, when I asked about the theme of the day, growing world is compulsory and growing up is optional. I request Tosma Arjun to have a look at speech. Someone came up to me and he said he needed to ask me something. And I said, okay. He said, uh, my son is in six standard right now. Which IIT coaching institute? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I didn't want to say, okay, that's ridiculous. I tried saying, okay, what other hobbies does your son have? Do you really know what you're doing? And he said, yeah, he's a badminton state champion, but I. I want him to pursue studies, I don't want him to pursue Badminton state champion, what are you doing? I didn't say that, of course. <laughs> Badminton state champion, why would you want to do this? But I told him, okay, uh, make sure he follows his hobbies for a little while. Don't think about any coaching before 11th standard at least. I don't know if he listened to me, but I wish he was here today to listen to Dorfmas Lokesh's speech. There were several things I liked about your speech. Firstly, I loved, about, loved how you systematically broke down, systematically analyzed what problem. You started off with a bank. You started off with a lot of information which, which is very startling. About India, India has a population of uh, so much and they haven't won as many gold medals. It was very, I don't remember the numbers exactly. There were so many numbers, it was very clear that you had done your research. And you broke down the problem. You analyzed with us, saying, what is the problem? Is it because India is a democracy? And you said China had won a lot of medals, but India had. Is it because uh, India is a democracy? Then you went on to say, that is not the case, because the first top four countries are democracies. And then you went on to analyze the next problem. Is it because of poverty in India? And then you went on to say, that is also not the case, because most of the, even countries like Zimbabwe, which is poorer than India, has won more medals than India. So you said that is also not the case. So I loved how you systematically analyzed the your, uh, problem, the problem which, problem that. So yeah, the next thing I liked about your speech was your uh, body language. It was very natural, body language and your voice. It was very natural. It wasn't extravagant. It wasn't like, you you showed that you don't need to be very extravagant and loud or you don't need to even need to include humor to have a very interesting speech. That's what I liked about your speech. And finally, uh, as I was thinking, okay, uh, Olympics, fine, how is this related to Cosmos? How, is this, how do we connect with this? And you finally went on to say, okay, you as parents, make sure that your children follow their passion and they don't uh, you don't push them to follow your dreams, let them follow their own dreams. You finished it off on that and you achieved an audience kind. That was very nice. And if I were to give you a suggestion, I felt that towards the end you rushed it a little bit. You said, okay, let your children follow your passion, but you didn't exactly say why they should do that. Why parents should, what was the motivation for parents to push them to play sports instead of studying sports. I feel that you could have focus more on that and maybe lessen, reduce the number of facts you gave at the beginning, which is unnecessary. You had achieved the purpose of startling the audience with numbers, but maybe you could reduce the number of facts. So overall, a very well-researched and very well-delivered speech. Looking forward to your season.